morning guys today is the day I got a notification in my mailbox on Monday that there's a parcel to pick up at the post office here in Lately and I looked it up online and it has a weight of 22.5 kilograms so I know exactly these are our batteries I'm super excited to pick them up today I've got something to do uh, work related in lately today so I'll take the chance and opportunity to pick up our battery pack so exciting Where else would you put the battery, huh? An electric car, then in the front. Okay guys, this is now the next morning and we are going to, going to, wow, this is heavy. Going to unpack this box and see what's inside. Okay, so without further delay. Okay guys, so today is the day. I picked up these batteries yesterday at the post office, but it was already too late and too dark yesterday to unbox these battery cells now. But this morning, I am so excited. Okay, let's have a look inside. All right, nice packaging. We've got an envelope with the bus bars and screws. And, and, and oh <laughs> ah here they are oh look at this beauty look at this they look amazing ah, come on wow and look at this packaging that is so good okay let's check them for damage oh they look really really nice yeah, definitely brand new, sealed, have a barcode, the overpressure valve, they look really nice. I'll just check them quickly for any damage, but they look really, really good. Nice, nice. And look at this packaging, that is so good. Very safe. All right, here are our four battery cells. Lithium iron phosphate, 3.2 volt nominal voltage, 280 ampere hours capacity each. And I'm going to put them in series. So we've got a nice and big 12 volt battery. Beautiful. I'm really happy with that. And the packaging is amazing. Look at this thick foam. I've got everywhere. And these barriers in between. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look at the voltages. 3.2, 3.3, 3.3, 3.3. As promised, they are voltage matched. And I paid $82 US for each cell. $328 all in total or 452 and four cents, including shipping to Australia. Well, and we can have a quick look at the specifications here. So the typical capacity is 285 ampere hours at 1C discharge. The minimum capacity 280 ampere hours at 1C discharge, uh, 3.2 volts, that is for each cell. The internal resistance is only 0 0.25 milliohms or even smaller they're saying. Maximum current for charging these cells is 1C, which is a lot. That's 280 amps you can charge them with. Wow! 
The charge cutoff voltage is 3.65 volts. This is the maximum you can, you can charge the cells to. And the discharge rate is 1C, so you can pull 280 amps out of these batteries as well, which is a lot again. The cut... No, come on, come on focus, come on. The cutoff voltage is 2.5 volts, so you can discharge these cells to 2.5 volts minimum. Standard charge is 2 hours on 0.5Z. This is with 140 amps then. That's the standard charge and the quick charge is 1 hour on 1C. Recommended state of charge window, this is the depth of discharge, is between 10% and 90%. And this is exactly what I would like to use these cells for. I would probably go a little bit higher to about 25% and 80% and the batteries will last forever. So charging temperature 0 to 55 degrees Celsius. So you cannot charge these cells if you are below 0 degree Celsius. You need a battery warmer then. The discharge temperature minus 20 to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, storage temperatures weight is 5. Point, oh here we go. Weight is 5.2 kilograms per cell. And then we have all the test conditions of these cells here. Everything is in the actual data sheet. And they also have um, heaps of curves and everything in here. So our recommendations. So you can see the you can see the uh, discharge curves here. The um, this what the heck. The cycle life's going to 3,750 and then the capacity is going down to 80%. So you can see they are actually starting a bit above 100% at 285 ampere hours. And if you, if you keep your uh, depth of discharge lower, they will last forever. This will be 20 years. Yeah, all the temperature conditions, everything you need to know is in the data sheet of these cells they have sent me through. Well, very good, very good. I'm very pleased with these battery cells so far. I mean, I haven't connected them or I haven't tested them any further or something, but the whole process was very smooth. I had a look around at flooded lead acid batteries, gel batteries, AGM batteries, and it's not worth buying them because you can only use 50% of the capacity if you want a decent amount of cycles of charging life. Otherwise you have to replace them very quickly in a couple of years again. So, and then I had a look around at these lithium iron phosphate batteries online and found this one directly from the manufacturer in China. So I got in contact with them and, and this, is, this is via Alibaba.com. So this is like a platform like eBay just for Chinese products. And I got in contact with them and they responded within a couple of hours and gave me a quote for sending four of these cells down here so we can build a nice 12 volt battery for the off-grid garage. And this is an insane price considering this is a 3.55 kilowatt hour battery all in total. It's 280 ampere hours and 12.8 volts. And if you would buy another four of these cells, you can build a 24 volt battery and have seven point, and you would have almost eight kilowatt hours of capacity. That is insane. And this is for like eight, 900 US dollars shipped. Yeah, guys. So let me know what you think about these battery cells and if you would buy them as well. I think they are really fantastic for the price you pay. And the package looks perfect. The cells look perfect. And the whole transaction via Alibaba.com, I was a little bit skeptic at the beginning, but the whole transaction via Alibaba.com was very smooth and very professional. So how this basically works is you pay the money when you order these cells to Alibaba.com. They keep the money in their account until you confirm you receive the cells and they are not damaged, nothing is lost and everything is as it should be, as designed as it was offered from the manufacturer. And then you tell Alibaba, okay, everything is good and they then release the money to the actual seller. So I think this is a very good deal and very fair and very safe. 
and I would definitely do this again. And the company over there was very professional as well. I emailed them about 20 times with questions and everything and they always got back to me within a very short amount of time and sent me all the information and answered all my questions. So I think $380 for three and a half kilowatt hours of battery storage is insane. And the prices will only go down from here. Man, I tell you what, I will definitely order more of these cells. Yeah guys, so far this video for the off-grid garage from today. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about these battery cells. Would you buy them as well from China directly from the manufacturer? Would you rather buy them from a reseller here in Australia if they are a little bit more expensive? But you don't have to deal with the Chinese company and Alibaba and credit card stuff, you know? Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this crazy project. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can join me here on my journey taking my garage off grid with these batteries and these solar panels now. So another step closer. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.